भाई क्या चल क्या रहा है आई मीन पीपल फाइंडिंग सोलमेड इन कॉलेजेस आई कैन डू फाइंड रीजन आई एम डूइंग दिस डिग्री हाँ तो जनाब मिलिए इन महाशय से जिनका नाम है ओम कुमार हाँ आई नो नाम थोड़ा अजीब है अनेबल टू एक्सेप्ट द फैक्ट कि इनके इंजीनियरिंग लाइफ में बस अब तीन ही साल बचे हैं और एक साल इन्होंने ऑलरेडी गवा दिया है तो वो कैसे गवाया क्या किया क्या करना चाहिए था उसी बात पर हम आज चर्चा करेंगे Yes. So it has been one year since I started engineering, and guess what I learned till now? Nothing. हाँ मतलब सीखा तो बहुत कुछ, but eventually उससे सीखा कुछ भी नहीं. नहीं समझे? समझाता हूँ. Scrolling reels on Instagram, watching unwanted videos on YouTube contributed much to my wastage of time. I have a really good habit of writing each and everything from my daily schedule in a diary to keep a track of my time, but still at the end of the day I am completely messed up. You know what? Earlier I was bit health conscious, but अब तो वर्कआउट नहीं करने के लिए मेरे पास एक्सक्यूज है कि आई कैंट मेंटेन अ प्रॉपर डाइट ड्यू टू सच मेस फूड एंड द वर्स्ट थिंग आई एनकाउंटर्ड वॉज आई वॉज नॉट इवन एबल टू सॉल्व अ सिंगल क्वेश्चन प्रॉपरली इन माई एंड सेम कोडिंग एग्जाम इंस्पाइट ऑफ बींग एन आई टी स्टूडेंट आई वॉज इन फॉर्म एट एनी ऑफ माई डिसीजन कभी वेब डेवलपमेंट करता तो कभी ऐप डेवलपमेंट करता कभी ऐप डेवलपमेंट करता तो वो छोड़कर पाइथन करने बैठ जाता ऐसा करते करते आई वॉज नॉट इवन एबल टू फिनिश अ सिंगल कोर्स एट द एंड ऑफ फर्स्ट ईयर Recently I have been asking questions to myself like why are we going through all this why don't these things naturally attract me in fact what does this engineering mean what am i going to get after engineering just to study 9 to 5 job is it really even worth it ha to in maasha ke mam mein sawal hazaron hai regrets hazaron hai par bache ab 3 hi saal hain to ab sawal ye hai ki fy mein kya kya karna chahiye tha aur ab aage kya kya kare to zara sochiye mat mai ko dona batana hai By far the most important thing which I learned in first year is fest will come and go sports will come and go but one thing which is going to remain permanent is academic load exams are inevitable assignments are inevitable but don't let them dominate your hobbies or ultimate goals learn to manage your time efficiently exploring new things is not going to be that easy as i am going to give a big fraction of my time on it which i could have invested upon my academics At times I might feel demotivated and I might encounter the thought that why am I doing this why can't I just go by conventional engineering of just studying academics let me give you an example while working on youtube video many time I feel like giving up but that's where these two fellow roommates appear and motivate me again to complete the remaining part but is it going to remain the same all the time am I going to get such people throughout my entire life so the simple answer is no you need to remember that you wanted an adventurous life For this, I need to become strong enough and self-reliant for all these four years. Don't hesitate to say no whenever you feel it's required. Let me give you an example. Do you know why I haven't posted any videos since last one month? Was I was saying yes to many other things like making unofficial videos for different college clubs and planning outings with my friends and what not. But unknowingly, I was saying no to my YouTube videos. If I had said no to those things, I might have released this video earlier. One of my habits which I would like to avoid badly is taking everything for granted. For example, in this first year, I used to bunk lectures with an excuse that I am going to study in my room itself. But what I used to do is just sleeping. So I must ensure that I don't take everything for granted anymore. I have recently started using LinkedIn and realized that when I was wasting time on Twitter and Instagram, my friends and seniors were busy adding skills to their resume on LinkedIn. So now onwards I should try to make connection with better people and try to post my little projects too on LinkedIn. So it's really important for me to set priorities. Let's say YouTube is my first priority. So we may not expect very good results from other things like academics and I think that's completely fine. On this note let me tell you I haven't focused on my physical health lately and Exploring new things also include exploring full potential of your body by working out and going gym. So yes, I may join gym this year. But with this amount of workload, stress and anxiety, is it really enough to take care of just your physical health? What about your mental health? Am I giving sufficient time for it? No. So keeping this in mind, I should start meditation and rejuvenation on daily basis. Other important thing which I learned in first year is 
not every day going to be the same one day might be very productive for you you might have studied whole day or solved number of questions on lead code while other day might not be that productive for you stop bitching yourself and asking for validation just be consoled by promising yourself that you are going to make the best out of next day trust me if you implement nothing but at least this much things in your 4 years of engineering you are going to get answers to each of your questions cause even a single percent of improvement each day can make you 37 times better at the end of the year and eventually at the end of fourth year you would be looking back at this four years with no regrets in your eyes and nothing but just a sense of relief and satisfaction